So while, uh, while we, uh, we are giving the awards, uh, um, I'm going to ask Mariam, uh, Sadia, and Sina to come over as the organizing committee to do that. Uh, colleagues are going to very quickly put the awards here, and you'll be pleased to see what we are going to give as award uh, today. Um, Sorry. <laughs> she's trying to push I me tripped. out again. No, I tripped. <laughs> um, and also in the background, I think um, uh, Sand are uh, going to be working to set up uh, 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 cable for, uh, uh, for Shelley Seagal. So ignore that so they, they carry on. Okay, now um, I'm just going to briefly, while the colleagues are setting up, remember what we've done today. We've achieved a lot. We've had uh, uh, screening of films. We've had uh, Asya Bibi's lawyer here talking about that. Uh, Gita has given a speech about uh, a precious heritage. We've had a panel on Sharia, religious arbitration, and family law. Um, apart from lunch, we've had Peter Thatchell and a panel on politics of uh, collusion. Uh, we've had performance. We've had uh, public performance led by Victoria Guggenheim. We've uh, seen a, a beautiful uh, dance movie by uh, Artusa, um, who couldn't be here today. We've had a panel on um, gender segregation veil and women's body autonomy led uh, by um, Yasmin. And then finally, we just had, we heard uh, Beatrix Campbell and the panel on secularism as defense of women's rights. Now, on that note, I'm going to hand over to Mariam to announce the, in recognition of the work that a number of people have done in the, in the last few years, uh, One Law for All Award of 2018. Mariam, the mic is yours now. Okay, um, thank you very much. Paribors uh, Puyo. Well, uh, we're the organizing committee of this conference, so. Uh, but, of, but of course, uh, there are so many great volunteers, and you'll be mentioning them all at the end, and they deserve more claps than us, but we thought we'll take some credit now. But, uh, but we wanted to, because it's our 10th anniversary, we wanted to uh, award women that are phenomenal. And you, you've seen how phenomenal all the women are on this panel, so it, it was very difficult. Uh, but each one is so deserving, and we're really honored to have them here, and we're really honored to honor them uh, in the proper sense of the world, not the honor-killing sense of the world. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with uh, uh, Maria Mahela Lucas, because um, uh, she is uh, the most beloved. I'm going to start getting emotional now. <laughs> she, you know, she... I don't know if everybody knows her, but she's the backbone of practically everything. She's the troublemaker behind that puts us together, that shouts at us over concepts like don't use Sharia, she keeps telling us off. Uh, so really, she's someone who's, who's uh, spent a lifetime defending women's rights, defending secularism, universal values, really. Uh, I mean, it's such an honor to have her with us, and we really cannot uh, say enough how well-deserved this prize is. What I want to see is that one day history books will be written by progressive historians, and on that day, you will be in the book. Thank you so much for making me part of your movement. Uh, by the way, before I forget uh, how, how awful of me, these beautiful sculptures were made by the most amazing Iranian sculptor, Sudabe Gashta Sebi. Um, <laughs> And of, uh, of course, she's made them, uh, it, it represents the women, the girls of Engalob Street, Revolution Street in Iran that are opposing compulsory veiling. Um, the other woman who uh, we have to, um, that we love too much, who always, she's already crying. 
<laughs> Every time I look at her, I want to start crying as well. It's Gita Sahgal, and she is someone... <laughs> is really someone who has always been on the front line of every bloody fight. I mean, do you not ever get tired? Uh, you know, any, any fight, she's there. I mean, pride. The, the only thing left is for Ina to make her topless, and then she'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> Gita, congratulations, Jenna. That's for I could not have survived the fallout from leading, leaving Amnesty if it hadn't been for Mariam and the, the One Law for All campaign and the space she created for, for, for us and for the idea of secular space and the space she's also given us. We haven't today talked about it very much, but she's one of the few people who works on Islamism and is willing to condemn the fascist Hindutva movement, which is in power in India today. So I thank you, Mariam, and I thank all the wonderful volunteers for this prize. And it, it is only a small reflection of the work that everybody's doing over here. Thank you. Our, our next lovely is uh, Yasmin Rehman. Uh, who has uh, really, I, I mean, you, you know, she's already blown us away, uh, blown us away uh, here tonight, today and every day. I mean, with her work against violence against women, her work against polygamy, her work with Gita on uh, the Center for Secular Space, really one of the best activists that we can ever dream to work with. Yeah. Uh, and another crybaby. <laughs> I'm a sniveling wreck. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I deserve this, but um, I stand on the shoulders of the women who went before me. Um, I stand side by side what, with my amazing friends who are in this room, Gita, Pragna, Sandhya. Um, but I want to say a special thank you to Mariam and all of the Council of Ex-Muslims. As a Muslim, there are so few spaces there are so few spaces where you can dissent um, without threats to you and to your family. My sister was here earlier in the day um, and has gone home very tearful. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a home. Thank you very much. Um, and before I go, um, I, ha I do have a wonderful family, but this is my chosen family. You are my chosen family. Of course, uh, the other brilliant women of all brilliances is the amazing Pragna Patel. And as Afsane Lashow said today, she needs a standing ovation, as do all the other women. But this woman... This woman has been at the forefront of every legal fight and every political fight against racism, for women's rights, against discrimination, laws have been changed, lives have been changed because of her work. So we are honored to give you the prize. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to say too much, except I feel very humbled to accept be given this prize, and I, of course, accept it most graciously. I feel that um, there are people here who really do stand on the front line and who inspire me and who, from whom I continue to learn. I'm still learning. I have a lot to learn. But whilst there are people like you, all of you, but particularly 
Mariame, Gita, Yasmin, Mariam, 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 um, Nina, Sasha, and all the amazing women, I can't name you all. You are the real inspiration, and you will keep me going for the next decade or so, I hope. Thank you. <laughs> The uh, next amazing woman is our Annie Laurie Gaylor. Where is she? Now, this is a woman who looks too young when we talk about her lifelong work, but she really has done a lifelong work, starting with her mother when she was in college. Her love and life has been about women's rights, uh, reproductive rights and defending secularism, defending freedom of conscience and expression. So it is, uh, and in the US where we've got Trump, boo. Uh, so it's just great, great, great pleasure to have her always with us, alongside us, fighting the great fight. Well, this is Tremendous. We need a woman's revolution, and this is the perfect symbol. Thank you. Our next awardee is talking, as she's not allowed to be talking. <laughs> uh, our next brilliance, uh, uh, you know, the person we want to award is Nadia Alfani. Now, you've heard her speak. Uh, she is really an inspiration to so many. She keeps insisting on laïcité. Uh, you know, uh, neither masters nor Allah. I mean, this woman is a woman to be reckoned with, and we are so honored to always have her alongside us, giving us strength, giving us courage. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, th this is I wanted to say before, so I, I will say it now. <laughs> Threats are menacing everywhere around the world the fundam by the fundamentalists of all religions. And because it's caring, we have to remember that nothing is never acquired, nothing is never won forever, just as nothing is never lost forever. As we say in French, we may lose the battle, but we don't lose the war. So let's continue the struggle until the victory with our pacific weapons. And we are, uh, as an artist, we know, you know, with our films, book, music, everything, because we are right. <laughs> our other brilliance is Hosan Mahmoud. Uh, she has been, where is she? She has been a tireless activist. I mean, I have known her forever, and she never stops fighting for women's rights, uh, whether it's Kurdish women, Iraqi women, globally, women's rights everywhere. She said something really funny, that we Kurdish women are really giving it to ISIS, because not only are we um, uh, preventing, are we, uh, like, militarily dealing with them, but we're also preventing them from going to heaven and getting 72 virgins. So we're actually sparing the 72 virgins because if they're killed by women, they don't get the virgins. Um, this is better than Oscar, of course. <laughs> Uh, this is the Oscar of Atheist and Secularist. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much. One love for all, Mariam, Sadia, and sorry, I didn't Sina. see Sina, everyone, and who, for all of you who are here. I think one of, um, you know, I've been inspired by so many uh, wonderful feminists from across the world, from this country and elsewhere and in the, in the Middle East. And this is what keeps us going to fight, you know, to continue from the generations before us to make this world a better place, a safer place for all women as well as men uh, to live side by side. And I would like to share this with um, Kurdish freedom fighters, female fighters who are still struggling to keep 
their homes and, and their um, cities safe from ISIS and from Islamists. They are defending that kind of secularism in that region, you know, uh, at a gunpoint. And as they say, and that they always say something that really keeps me uh, thinking is they say struggle is life. And this is, I think, what makes so much sense to so many of us who don't get tired. Maryam is right. We've known each other for so many years, probably a couple of decades by now. And we don't get tired of being active and, you know, uh, struggling until the day that we can all, um, you know, create a better world for all of us. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>
all this period of uh, wars supported us. Thank you. Without uh, international solidarity, would be very more difficult. Anyway, the time promised you is um, to uh, continue to be uh, disobedient. <laughs> <laughs> Always this <laughs> war, nationalist militarism, of course, and ethnic uh, 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 fundamentalism, and also uh, be uh, disobedient to all kinds of state, nation issue, all consensus of state and issue, and be loyal, continue international solidarity and feminism. Yeah. 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 Okay, and of course we know uh, the um, amazing Ibtisam, Betty Lashkar, where is she? I mean, we heard her speak, Ibtisam. Now this woman is absolutely amazing. I mean, you heard some of the crazy things she does. <laughs> Subversive is the word for her, and she is such, you know, a, an inspiration, and to think that she's doing all of these direct actions coloring rabats, fountains, blood red to mark violence against women, organizing kissings, organizing eating and drinking during Ramadan, things that are banned, illegal, fine. And she's, she's on the ISIS death list and she's still here. Uh, and, and ISIS is, we're getting rid of them, but she's still here and she's gonna be fighting for a very long time. <laughs> Um, so, I didn't know, actually. <laughs> so, thank you. It's a honor, and um, I don't know, I don't know uh, what to say. Um, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a little like a victory, and uh, uh, I, I want to say hi to my haters, actually. <laughs> And um, so, future is female. Uh, we also want to mention that we've, uh, one of the awards is for Masih Alinejad, the Iranian journalist that has been campaigning for White Wednesdays. Unfortunately, because of Trump, boo, and the travel ban, boo, uh, she isn't able to join us. Uh, but we do uh, want to make sure that we uh, commemorate the work that she's been doing in support of uh, women's rights and against compulsory veiling. Um, is Afsane here? Yes, Afsane doesn't know we're giving her award. But, uh, you know, the thing is with Afsane, she uh, has been fighting for so long uh, to bring her son Louis home. And um, it must be very, very a difficult fight because it's also so personal. Uh, and she has fought nonstop. Of course, she mentioned how you know South Hall Black Sisters Pragna has been a backbone for her. But she's you know she's a little woman, but she's been a, doing a big, big fight. And also in France, uh, you know she's she's changing the law. She's she's battling really. Uh, Goli is Goliath the big one or Dave? Yeah, she's, yeah I, I can never remember. She's like fighting Goliath. Uh, and we want to we wanna commemorate her work. We want to say we want Louis to come home. And we'll always stand with her until she's reunited with her son. I stopped crying a long time ago because I was so traumatized from losing my son. And um, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Pragna seen me cry so many times. So I'm really humbled. I mean, what amazing women here, Mariam, your organization. And I've never won anything in my life. This is like winning the lottery, probably better, actually. Um, so thank you. Um, I think Yasmin said it, we stand tall. Oh, so many, I, I don't know, my, I, I, my darkest hour was sitting in a prison cell and I was talking to someone yesterday about it. I thought 
I would come out of Dubai in a coffin. And I really lost hope, and I lost hope and faith in humanity. So what you've all given me, every single one, all the amazing women and men I've met on the way, um, I'm glad I didn't come out in a coffin, and I'm glad that the humanity of just people in Britain, people all over the world, got me back home. And I hope that um, even if Louis doesn't come back home, um, I'm, I'm just grateful for everybody's love and support. So thank you. OK, and uh, finally, um, last but not least by far is our, our, our own very beloved Ina Shevchenko. And I mean, what do I say about Ina? I mean, Ina has uh, become mainstream. She's being invited to famous to talk with famous people and Nobel Prize winners. This dissenter, this rebel, this woman who brought topless activism, the scandal of topless activism, to the forefront has normalized women's bodies in a way I think that we haven't seen in a very long time. She made me go topless. And I even forgot I was topless at the last Pride Parade. And I was just telling her this is what she's done for me personally, what she's done for women everywhere. And you've heard her speak. A thoughtful, wonderful, wonderful activist. And it's such a pleasure to give her this award. Wow, thank you, thank you very much. I think that every woman in the world deserves at least one award for being a woman in this world. And Mariam, you deserve just all awards of the world. Really, you do, you are the best in uh, giving us energy, you are the best at topless protests, you are the best at expressing our common ideas and defending our common values. And that's true that usually for uh, criticizing religious ideas about women and about women's bodies, usually I received death threats and insults, so it's very um, unique moment for me and um, I appreciate it a lot and of course I want to dedicate this award to every feminine activist who have also been, um, uh, who, who are also always um, in the center um, of attacks and always um, um, are facing uh, uh, dangerous situations, and I know that I have to dedicate this award to them, to every feminine um, activist everywhere in the world, because I know that they will keep um, facing uh, those male patriarchs, sexist imams, rabbis, priests, and they are going to make them understand that there is nothing wrong with us, with women, nothing wrong with our bodies, but there is something wrong with their vision about us, and there is something wrong with our society. And for my part, uh, for my part, I promise to use this um, as a source of energy to continue going around the world and whispering in the ear of every girl that when they demand them to be silent, they should be loud, and when they demand us to be obedient, they can and should rebel. Thank you. Yay.